Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to do a little bit of indoor gardening. I have this tray of watermelon, cantaloupes, and squash, and a couple other things that need to be up potted super bad. These roots are coming out the bottom, so I'm going to do that today. And I'm also going to put aluminum foil on my squash plants to help with squash vine borer. Okay, I started these seeds probably two or three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I like to pre-start all my watermelon and squash and cantaloupe and all that stuff inside. You really don't have to. You can direct sow these outside even when you live up north like me. I live in right on the border between 6A and 5B. So these guys are going to stay inside until the end of May because watermelon tomatoes cucumber watermelon squash all like warm nights 50 degrees or above and we don't really get that until about Memorial Day so these are gonna stay inside I have <clears throat> so I have my tray I have all my pots now these are all recycled pots over the years I did buy these uh, these orange ones off Amazon but these ones these are for just from plants that I've bought at stores before I have my aluminum foil and then I have my bag of potting soil this is just raised bed container mixed potting soil once you up start up potting your plants you don't need seed starter soil anymore okay I also have a big it's not Tupperware a big tub lid on top to work on because I know this is going to be messy. I really should take this outside, but it's okay. I'm just going to start with my squashes because I need to get the aluminum foil on them. So last year, now this is not my original idea, but last year I put aluminum foil around the base of all my squash plants because at my old garden I had a terrible time with squash vine borers and the aluminum foil worked it made it so they couldn't penetrate the base of the stem if you don't know what squash vine borer is it is the bane of all gardeners existence it will kill your squash crop in a in a flash so <clears throat> i like to do the aluminum foil it helped and you just leave it on all all season so i'm gonna find a let me find <clears throat> excuse me all right, here we go. I have pumpkins, which you can tell are desperately needing to get out. Okay, pumpkin and watermelon and squash, they're pretty easy to handle. They're thick stems, so they're easy to handle when transplanting and up cutting. Now, each of these little squares in the tray, I put four seeds in them. So I lost, I lost some, I, not every single one. There's actually one, the, my yellow watermelon, I need to actually restart completely. <clears throat> but anyway, so just fill up your pot and make sure the soil is damp. It really is easier if you're just watering before you actually transplant. You're gonna make a hole with your finger in the dirt. I'm gonna do, this is uh, Province Pumpkin. That is not the full name of it. I will I will link the full name of it. It's a pretty Cinderella-like pumpkin. It's supposed to be really good for baking. So these pumpkins actually did really good, but you can tell I did four, maybe, four seeds. Um, so I'm just gonna gently, gently tease them apart. I actually let these go a little too far. The roots are pretty, pretty well established together. But I am gonna just gently tease them apart. I'm just gonna do one per one per box because they will stay in here until it's time to plant them outside. You definitely don't want them to get too root bound because then issues arise from that too. I'm just gonna slowly, just slowly and gently and stick this down in here. Now you can bury you can bury it a little bit. So squash and pumpkins and all that stuff, they will actually create new roots as they grow on top of the ground, which is good. But you don't wanna bury it to the very, you know, to the very top of the leaf because I am gonna at least start putting this aluminum foil on the base of there, base of the plant. 
All right, so you don't need expensive aluminum foil. All you're gonna do is just create, since these are kind of little, I'm just gonna create like just like a one inch strip. Should probably get some scissors from for this, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. Yeah, it's good enough. And you're simply gonna, I probably don't even need the whole, I'm just gonna split that in half actually. Because you just wanna loosely wrap the base around, very loosely, because you still want the plant to be able to grow. It's not gonna stunt the growth or anything if you make sure it's on loosely so the, the plant can push it out. It's just there for protection. So if you can't tell, it's just on loosely and it'll stay like that for the rest of its time. When it's a little bit bigger, like right before I plant it into the garden, I might wrap some more around because I am expecting this to get, I don't know, probably, probably like this big <laughs> before I plant it out there. But that is what I do and I do this for pumpkins, zucchini, yellow squash. I don't do it on my watermelons though because I don't have the same problems with watermelons, but this is, this works. I know a lot of people like to do the BT injections, which I'm sure that works too, but you guys, this is so much easier and it's cheaper. You can even go to Dollar Tree and get the aluminum foil from there. So that's one pumpkin. I'm gonna work on the rest of this tray. I had to go get my labels because I am terrible at remembering. I know what's a pumpkin and what's a watermelon and what's a tomato, but I am terrible about remembering how many specific tomatoes or pumpkins or whatever I planted. So I'm just gonna label these. I'm gonna show you one more up pot of these pumpkins. So you just scoop it, kind of a monotonous task, but really is good for the health of your, uh, of your plant, especially pumpkins. Pumpkins are heavy feeders, so are watermelon. They take a lot of water and a lot of nutrients. I mean, it's a big fruit. I mean, these ones, the Provence pumpkins, I mean, they're supposed to be like, like this big a pumpkin. That's a lot of, a lot of nutrients, a lot of water. So the more you take care of it, the better it'll produce for you. So here we go again. Just gonna fill my pot up to the top. Other piece of aluminum foil, and just loosely, very loosely, wrap it around the base. And then it's set. Now we'll label that. Now we'll just keep going. All right, you guys, I really hope this helps. I'm gonna finish my tray off, and then I'm actually gonna put them back downstairs in my basement underneath their grow lights. I'm gonna plant these out closer to Memorial Day. That's because that's when it gets legitimately warmer around here. I hope this helps. This is very easy to do. I hope you try this on your crops because squash vine borer is very, very annoying to deal with. And this worked, this worked. I saved all my squashes last year using this. I hope this helps. Please be sure to check the description box below for coupons and links and all that other stuff. I will see you in the next video.